Hello everybody, this is Jane Goodall and I'm delighted to join you today at the 11th Conference of Parties to the UNTOC because I want to talk about a cause that's very close to my heart and that's stopping the illicit trafficking of wildlife. I'd like to thank at the start our good friends at the Global Initiative to End Wildlife Crime for inviting me to join this important conversation. The Jane Goodall Institute, JGI, has been an international champion of the effort to stop the illegal wildlife trade ever since its early days, and we're proud to continue working towards much needed wildlife law reforms. As the recent COVID-19 pandemic has made abundantly clear, the way we treat wildlife does matter, not only to animals, but to us humans as well. Whilst causing local or even global extinctions, illicit wildlife trafficking is also threatening our health, bypassing the essential biosecurity controls that are needed to ensure the health of people, farm animals and other wildlife. It undermines our efforts to mitigate climate change and loss of biodiversity, as well as the ability of countries to sustainably manage their natural resources. Finally, it causes immense suffering to millions of animals that are taken from the wild and killed for their body parts or sold in wildlife markets for food, medicine or exotic pets. And all this leads to conditions that make it relatively easy for pathogens such as the COVID virus to spill over from an animal to a human. And this, of course, may give rise to a new zoonotic disease. Unless we end this cruel trade, many of our primates and other wildlife species will soon be gone and gone forever. <clears throat> This is why the JGI continues to work tirelessly against wildlife crime, including through its Forever Wild campaign and its sanctuaries and rescue centers all over the world. As an international champion of end wildlife crime, our JGI Institute also supports a bold new global agreement on tackling wildlife crime to be achieved through an additional protocol under the UNTOC. No country can effectively stop wildlife trafficking on its own, for this trade knows no boundaries. It's only through our collective will and continued collaboration across borders that we can stop the trafficking of wild animals. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to the co-hosts of today's event, Gabon and Peru, two beautiful and biodiverse rich countries, to thank them for leading the way for the first time towards the adoption of an international agreement on wildlife crime. Alongside four other beautiful and biodiverse rich countries, Angola, Costa Rica, Malawi and Kenya, you've started a conversation our wildlife desperately needs. In May 2022, at the 31st session of the UN Crime Commission, your efforts led to the adoption of the first UN resolution ever to mention a global agreement on illicit wildlife trafficking. And I'm so grateful that this wonderful result was achieved. In the coming months, member states will be asked to express their views on how to improve our international legal framework, including the possibility of an additional protocol under the UNTOC on tackling illicit wildlife trafficking. I urge all world leaders to carefully consider this urgent matter. Every year that we postpone taking serious global action against wildlife crime is another year closer to the extinction of countless species and the emergence of new and potentially devastating diseases. Honestly, there's no time to lose. It's so important 
that we remember we are part of the natural world and we depend on it for food, water, well, everything. And we only have to think of the hurricanes, floods, droughts, wildfire fires and heat waves that are harming all parts of the planet that we realize the deadly harm we've already caused. If we continue to harm our environment and animals, if we continue to generate new zoonotic diseases, well, we're probably doomed. So thank you so much for attending and for your interest.